But would you really want to know everything? I mean, think about it. The good, the bad, and the ugly. What's up, friends? This is Bobby Conway with Cross Examine. Question for you. Are you the inquisitive type? And do you find yourself a little on the curious side from time to time? Were you the child who was always raising your hand in class? Excuse me, teacher. If so, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Asking questions is part of the learning process. In fact, great learners ask great questions. It was Francis Bacon who once said, He who questions much shall learn much and retain much. And there is no such thing as a dumb question, if I can qualify it. That is to say, if you're genuinely seeking to learn. But unfortunately, many people stunt their learning simply because they're too embarrassed to ask questions. But think about it. The only person who doesn't need to ask questions is God. And that's because God knows everything. God doesn't need to raise his hand. God doesn't need to do a Google search. And we know God has not enrolled in a PhD program, say at Oxford University. He's all-knowing. And theologians refer to this attribute as omniscience. Must be nice, right? So we think. But would you really want to know everything? I mean, think about it. The good, the bad, and the ugly? I don't think so. Maybe the good, but certainly not the ugly. Lord knows there's enough going on in the world that we don't need stuck in our heads. So, it turns out that we can be thankful for some good old-fashioned ignorance. Call it God's shrouded grace. It even seems that God wanted Adam and Eve to remain in the dark about the ugly. You can look up that in Genesis chapter 2 and verses 15 to 17. Curiosity taken to its extreme can be dangerous. You see, there are just some things we must be content not knowing. Things that reach beyond the finite, that should be freeing to us. But fortunately, there's a lot that we can know and be thankful for. While we can't discover the answers to all of our questions, we can find the answers to some of them. And for that, I'm thankful. For more content on my social media platforms, check out Christianity Still Makes Sense in the various platforms that are offered there. And for more exclusive content from myself or other apologists, be sure to subscribe to crossexamine.org. Till next time.